All right, these sessions been have been getting a little long, so let's just jump right in here. I still have T left, and let's jump right in. And I think we can finish this in two more sessions, including this one. Let's go. Psalm 1 and John 7. We left off talking about there's no substitute for a open Bible and a prayerful heart because the flow in John 7 38 that Jesus talked about out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water we get into that flow as we spend time with God pray in tongues receive the gift of the Holy Spirit pray in tongues and spend time with God listen as you read your Bible no substitute there is no 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 substitute this is the reason why a lot of people are asking pastors and other ministers and people that are older than them in the Lord for their opinion about this and that. And they sometimes wear these folk out. And uh, there's nothing wrong. Now, there's times when you should ask for uh, other people's opinion and run things by people. All right? I don't want to discount that. But that is not a substitute. Just keep that in its place. The Bible says in the multitude of counselors there's safety, but there's no substitute for an open Bible and a prayerful heart because as you spend time with God, it's, it's hard to go through this quickly because it's very important. It seems simple, but you need to take the time out of your day and spend time with God with your Bible open and something to write with. And, and receive instruction from him. Nobody can tell you, no advisor or counselor can tell you what you're supposed to do with your life, what your purpose is. You've got to get that from the Lord, not even your mama or your daddy, or your grandparents. As much as you respect these people or your pastor, you've you got to get direction from God for yourself and, and spend time with him, with your Bible open. The, the God will speak to you out of the scriptures. There's no substitute for an open Bible and a prayerful heart. Okay? And uh, Psalm 1 says that you will be, well, let me just read it. Um, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Now, if you uh, translate that uh, in New Testament terms um, we can say this in the gospel he meditates day and night okay in the gospel in the finished work of Jesus on the cross we meditate day and night alright on the gospel if you do that, you're going to be like a tree that's planted by the rivers out of his heart, out of his belly shall flow rivers. John 7 uh, 38. You'll be like a tree. You will be like a tree that's planted by the rivers. By the rivers. Alright? Where there'll be a a flow there'll be a flow in your life and you'll bring forth fruit you don't force fruit to grow if you've had a garden where you grow vegetables or you, you, you don't force it you cultivate it alright and that's what you do when you spend time with God you're cultivating and the fruit just comes up by itself. You don't force it. It flows. All right? And whatever you do will prosper. One more session. We'll pick up from here next time.